Hey guys, welcome back to Cam's Custom Backgrounds. Now that my diamond python has moved into her forever home, I am going to be turning her old enclosure here behind me into a desert theme. So, if you want to stick around, I'll be taking you step by step on how I turn the enclosure from this rainforest enclosure into this awesome uh, arid desert theme. So stick around guys, and I hope you learn something. So I was supposed to get an enclosure in for friends of mine. Uh, they were currying it down. That's the one I mentioned in the last video. Now, because of all everything that's going on with lockdowns and things like that, couriers, as you probably know, aren't delivering very fast at the moment. Um, so I thought, why not take this time to pull this one down and keep going. First step, I've got this branches and everything like that screwed in. They're all screwed in through the top. So I'm going to go ahead and take all them out, take the lid off, um, take this generic back wall out that I had, and also clean out all the substrate and give the entire tank a clean down with um, uh, probably metho or something like that to make everything nice and clean. So Alright guys, I've basically got everything cleaned out as sort of quickly as I can right now. It's not going to be a massive concern. The glass is clean for anything to stick to it. Uh, I'll do a massive clean out on this uh, before I introduce the Stimson Python. Uh, it's always a good habit to, even if they are your own reptiles, make sure you're cleaning things between each one. You shouldn't have a problem if your own reptiles are all safe, but it's a good habit to get into. Um, now, this back wall design, I'm basing it off this rock that I've got here. Um, so this I'm actually going to be using in this enclosure. And it'll act as my basking spot. And it's actually hollow underneath. So that'll act as a cave on the hot side. And then I'll actually just put a piece of bark or something over this side or a half log or something to give a cold side height as well. Um, but yeah guys, we're ready to start throwing some stuff in here and making it look like some fake rock. so far still got to do the top of that behind that but this right here is my little cave i've gone and done a rebate in the top of that so that the actual join goes vertical rather than horizontal hopefully to try and take away sort of that look and we have to try and hide that sort of stuff so coming together pretty good
Right guys, I've just gone ahead and put a heap of black oxide in with the slate gray and some water. Uh, gonna mix that up and apply it to the internals of all of these deep cracks. Um, that'll allow me to get a bit more depth as I um, start doing the top coating. guys here we have it it's all been coated um, and I've gone through and done this bright orange in these crevices and stuff like that just to give it a bit more depth and texture as if something was you know broken off that point um, I've got my brushes my paints um, you can use any paints you can see here I've got various different brands um, here's my airbrush um and some normal brushes so i'll get you set up and throw a bit more paint at this and then we can uh deck it out finish it off all right there's the paint guys now as you can see, I've left a lot of the orange here, but I've dulled it right off and blended it in a lot more. Uh, gone pretty heavy on the black. Um, something I'm not used to really doing. Um, but I think it's come up pretty good. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like with the actual rock in place. In all honesty, I think that's a pretty good match for something that's man-made as opposed to a natural rock. I think the outcome's pretty darn good so uh next step guys i am going to be filling the substrate up now i'm going to be using the desert red sand mixed with uh, yuki mulch um and uh yeah i'll probably get some grass tufts and things like that set up to make it look a bit more like a desert
there you have it guys another build done another happy snake um thanks for coming along for the ride if you have any questions anything like that just hit me up on facebook um and i'll be happy to answer some questions and some tips if you want to have a crack yourself uh there's another few in the works coming up so yeah stay tuned guys and i'll catch you on the next build